Hey everyone, Abdul Kudus here to show you guys some direction of use of this pressure program. This is a design and analysis of a steel column based plate of white flange with movement. Before the end of the section, I'll be designing for another steel column based plate with the base plate design that are in this worksheet. Before that, let me give you a brief of this spreadsheet where you have the title block containing the project informations and all other related data, and you have the operating instructions which is to enter an input data in blue cells only while red messages indicate design errors and here you have the input data where different shapes and sizes of column sections such as w hp ms sections and here you have the plate use trace ranging from 195 to 520 newton per millimeter square and you have the plate concrete strength as well you don't really need to make an input here the column data has been automated in due course these are the loadings and moments of the columns so you have the design parameter the factor compressive strength which has been checked the bearing pressures which has been checked the eccentricities and length of bearing as well you have the anchor boat road data the containing the numbers of boats on boat as is the boat diameters and the anchor boat material and and progressing to that of the anchor boat tension and anchor boat shear which has been checked as well and for the base plate thickness where you have the minimum thickness and the required thickness and this design uses a 600 mm by 500 mm by 40 millimeters thick base plate and lastly you have the shear ratio which has been checked as well which validates the design status Now with this design data in this worksheet, having a different loading combinations of azia load, moments, and shear loads at the bay which uses a steel column of W shape W410 by 818 column size. Here we have W410 by 818. Here we have 818. Here we have 818. Okay, the location. Okay, that has been done we have that for that and we have this 1024 kilonewton we have this 189 kilonewton meter and lastly we have this the shear load for 40 kilonewton and here the shear coefficient and coefficient of friction which indicates the interaction of the column base plate and the ground bed where we have series of the shear coefficient 1.85 1.2 and lastly 1.10 for base plate embedded in concrete okay here the design has been validated and for this we have the brain pressure has been checked as well where the uniform brain pressure is less than the allowable brain pressure and the accurate provided to resist the azia load from the steel column has been checked as well here by ideally if a steel base plate of 900 by 700 millimeters should have at least four boots On both axes of the base plate here by that has been checked and we have a less stress ratio and here we are using the the minimum thickness is being used whereby in this regard we'll be using a 900 by 700 millimeter by 40 millimeter thick base plate all the parameters has been indicated on the plan here however the section has been provided as well considering the data if the anchorage has been insufficient probably providing 9.4 millimeter you have an insufficient anchorage because 9.4 millimeter boot diameter isn't sufficient enough or rigid enough to resist the, the loading on the steel column here yeah, you can also make this selection for several grades of both material where we have the F1554 grade at C55105 and for this A572 or A836 is ideal and we have this as well meanwhile if the steel column size provided isn't sufficient enough probably in the case of this you have 
insufficient steel column section okay let me call it this and now we have a valid design hence i'll be giving out a one time license key which will be valid for some time so guys that's a great time with your you can always leave your questions and other related in the comment section below don't forget to subscribe to my channel as well best regards